In RTC602, we added a feature to show baseline in a graphical view. Prior to this release, RTC can only show baselines within a string, one string at a time, as you can see here. Our customer has asked us to show this information in multiple strings and the relationship between those strings, so we added this view in 602. When you open the view at the first time, it will probably look very similar to the baseline history view since you only show one string on this graph. However, you can add more strings to this graph to see the relationship between those strings for various reasons. In this first example, I will show you how to use this new view to debug a build problem. As a build engineer, I noticed that there are some problems with our builds in the last few days and I want to see where the problem is. So I opened this view to show all workspaces and strings that are participated in the build process. Here, I have a typical RTC build process. The build started with the development string. When the build started, the contents of the development string is copied to the build workspace. When the build finished it, we create a snapshot, then deliver the snapshot to the build string. A build manager look at those build and then deliver them to the main string to share with other groups. In this example, you can clearly see when the build was started and which baseline was created after build success, when they are delivered to the build string, and then when they are delivered to the main string. If there is any problem, you can compare uh, those baseline to see what is added or being removed. In the next example, I will show you how to use this view to see different releases. Here, I have a main development string and a 10.0 maintenance string. I want to take this opportunity to introduce you another feature of this view, the setting pane. You can use the setting pane to change the information display on this view. In our example, we probably don't want to see those day-to-day -day operations, so I choose to show the released baseline only. I can also choose to show the release name instead of baseline name to make it easier to read. Here, you can see a clear picture when the 10.0 maintenance release is branched out, the two patches that are created, and how those patches are merged back into the main release. There are other useful features on the setting pane that you can use. For example, you can choose the time period that you want to see. I encourage you to explore this pane to see what else you can do to make it easier for you to see the data that you want to see on this view. In the last example, I want to show you how to use this view to see shareable components used by different applications or different products. Many of our customers develop softwares as components. They use those components to assemble various different products. A lot of time, it is hard to track down which component and its version is used by which product. Here, I have the map library that I developed. It was used by the GPS application, which is then bundled with a smartphone. In this example, you can clearly see which version of the map library are used by which version of the GPS and the phone application, and how are they acquired to their final destination. Last but not least, if you want to share this view with other people, there is a copy URL feature. You can send this URL to another people and they will be able to see the same graph in a regular web browser. Thank you very much for your time and hope you enjoy this new RTC feature.